Hi, my name is Kim, and this is November's Update to uh, Power of the Pan. It is a Pantastics Ladies collab on Facebook. It is also, it is um, charm themed. Um, what What is, oh, and it was Nikki Pearson who created it. And what she has to say, it's a show that she watched religiously. She, we all fell in love with the sisters, following them, battling the demons while trying to fall in love and raise the family. The ultimate girl power. So each, she, you, were, you were able to bring in all the prompts together or rolling in five or six at a time. I chose to roll them all in together. And if you want um, a really good description of all the characters of Charmed, go to Nikki Pearson's um, introduction. She does an amazing um, introduction to each one of these characters. I mean, I was trying to figure out why in the heck I didn't know all this about information about, you know, I watched it, but I didn't remember half these people on here. Well, then I got to thinking I was a single mom. And that's probably because I was running kids and just watching when I could here and there. But anyways, enough with that. Let's get started. So we're going to start with Prue. And she was um, known for telekinesis. And something you want to move out of your collection. Oops, i got to get my other book. So that is this eye cream. This was a... Uh, a blind test I did and it started out at 44.1 and it is now 44 grams the next item is Piper she was known to freeze people so that the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me so it's an anti-aging product which I did the spoiled child it was at 172.9 grams it is at 169 grams and if I feel like I'm going through this quickly, I am. Because every time I get to start to do this video, this video is way late. Something happens and I can't finish it. And so now I'm on a short little bit of time. So I need to get it done before anything else happens. So then the next item is Phoebe. Premonition, something you predict you'd love using. Which was this Top Down by Aussie. <coughs> Excuse me. Nourishing Leaving Scalp Tonic. It was 134.2. It is now 115. And the reason why I knew I'd love it is because I love all the, all the smell of all Aussie's products. The next is number four, the power of three, a trio of products. <clears throat> so trio of products to use together. So I chose the base coat, polish, top coat. And I put these down. So the other items I had used, the first three were, um, you, you know, finish. This is the fourth item. It was to use 12 uses each. I only each used each one of the two times and the weights on them are still the same. The next one <clears throat> is the Book of Shadows, No Palette Left Behind. So I had brought in this Color Color Obs Obsessed 6. So, and I put in to use each one of these 10 times. So I've used um, this one twice, this one four times, this one twice, go back to the next one, one time, four times, one time. Then we got nine times, three times, and four times. Now, with this, it's a lot of glitter, little itty bitty glitter fallout. So after this, after I get using each of these 10 items, I don't know. I might keep it, but then again, I might just toss it. I don't know. I might keep it for other projects because I really don't have that much, but we'll have to decide. I just really don't care for it at all. And you have to put a lot on because it's it fades quickly. So let's see. Number six is page something you can use alone. Or oh, you could use alone or with another product. So I put in this gold lip gloss because I either you could use it by itself, the little clear with gold little tint, or I use it with my I put it on and with my lipsticks or lip crayons. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, so it started out 64.6 grams. It is now at 60 grams. Now. That was the palette. <laughs> that was the obsessed palette. The lip gloss started out 23.4 and is now just 23 grams. 
The next item is Cole Baltazar double sided product. Um, oh, right here. My flower lip duo. Um, I put it in for well the lip the gold lip gloss I put in for 30 uses. I put this in for 30 uses. The let's go back to this. I'm trying to get ahead of myself. This gold lip gloss. I put it in for 30 uses. I have now used it 11 times. I put this double-sided lip duo. It started out at 25.9. It is still at 25.9, and I used it 10 times. Okay. <clears throat> Leo Light one Whitener. White Lighter. <laughs> Glowy product. And so I had put in a Franken blush and I put it into use up it is was at 198 grams and it's still at 198 grams then the next one is Chris a product that you travel back in time to tell your former self about and that would be the super goop serum <coughs> sorry um let me get through this. It, is, it started out at 92.6 grams. It is at 84 grams, and I put this in to finish. I just got to try to get through this real quick before I um, hack the whole time I'm on here. Chanks Devil Products that gets a second chance, which it was a draw it out mask. It started at 35 grams, and it no, it started at 36.1 grams. It is 35 grams. The next one is Danny, a product that you should love, but you know, no, excuse, scratch that. Daryl, a product that you can rely on. I had put in the Rock um, face wash. I put it into um, finish, and it started out at 105.6 grams, and I actually finished this product. So that is one rollout. <coughs> Excuse me. Next is a product that you know you should love, but you don't. And that is this um, Remy Rose Lip Scrub. Started out at 11 grams. It's still 11 grams. It's not really a scrub. Uh, it's got, I don't know if you can see it. It's got some nodules on it. I don't think it's very good. Excuse the lighting. I know it's dark in here. Um, but it just has some little nodules. And then the rest of it is all smooth. So the next one, a new product. Well, okay. Dan was a product that you should love, but you don't. Don't know if I didn't. Billy, a new purchase, <coughs> which was this pink Himalayan um, clay mask. It started out at 200 grams and it's at 198 grams. And I did put this into finish. I'm hoping next month this is this goes much better getting more products out and actually get through it next is the source a difficult uh, a product okay the source difficult to pan product which would i put in no i missed something um hold on what did i do wrong okay i just skipped it the triad, a triangular product, and I had put it in this um, stay satin because it's the only thing I had got close to a triangle. I put this in for 30 uses. It was at 23 grams. It's still at 23 grams, and I used it 15 times. <coughs> okay, the source. I, I, Difficult to pan product would be this ABH contour palette, contour kit. It was started out at 156, 175.6, and it's now 174.1. So I'm only concentrating on these two. These two is not in, even in the equation. I'm just going to try to get used to these by the end of this project. Okay. Gideon, a product that you need to learn how to use, which was this 
Be Pure Primer Serum. It was full at 50 grams and it's now at 43 grams. And I do like it. And so it didn't take much. It had a little learning curve. You actually got to read the directions. That, that would be the start. Read the directions and you have to let it set before you put your top makeup on. That was my problem before. I just put it on and thought, bam, it was going to work. But it didn't. Okay, the next... Hold on. Xan Xanadu. A product... Let me see if I can find it. My laptop is wanting to... It's an old thing. Product that you changed your mind on. And that was the Quiet and Roar body lotion. It was the Blossom and Mint Scent. At first, I really didn't like the smell. But after I got used to it, I actually quite like it now. So that's how I changed my mind. It started out at four, um, 461.9. It is at 44.1. And I did put this in to use up. And also the primer to use up too. Then a Penny Hallwell Grams. The old, so your oldest product. And I think, what did I put it? Oh. Does obey your body nail or cuticle oil actually? <clears throat> I'm looking down a lot and I'm so sorry. I admire those people who can memorize all this or has figured out a way you can do it without having to look down because I hate looking down. So this started out at 24.7 grams. It is now at 23 grams and I did put it into use of that. <clears throat> L'Oreal eyeshadow. Oh, excuse me. Let let the Barbas Barbas um, something you are afraid to pan. I put in nope. That's the tart. I put in the tart mascara because I really really love it. But I think I waited too long because it's really dried out. I it started at twenty five point four grams. It is now at twenty five grams. Next one is the Nexus, uh, a neutral eyeshadow or lipstick. So I put in the L'Oreal. <clears throat> eyeshadow start out I put it in to finish it's 20.4 started out at 20 20.1 grams is now at 18 grams <coughs> so and then the next item a product that's gone too soon which <laughs> yeah that, that that's a little crazy sounding because these these are from Rodan and Fields it's their little capsules that you use the little thing like this and then you put the capsules on. I started out with nine. I still have nine. And then um, Abraxas, a duplicate item, which is my P, uh, Physician's Formula Crayon. It started out at 10.1 grams and it is at 10 grams. And I did put this in for 30 uses and I've used it 5, 10, 15, 17 times. So uh, that is my November update on the power of the pan. <clears throat> I do apologize for the lighting, my coughing, <clears throat> and me having to look down to read. Um, I'm hoping I can get better at this, but I hope everybody has a wonderful holidays, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!